Well, me and Kaz have had a couple of nights up on the East Coast. I uh, have been looking for some uh, spring and summer camps up there in them sand dunes and uh, yeah, I found a good few. Uh, but now I'm down Rain Valley. It's still a bit wet down here and it is get a bit, still a bit cold. I mean, it was very frosty this morning. But I'm going to have a walk around here. The last time I come down, I just had a, had a look in. Them storms have devastated this place. Uh, a lot of trees down. Really, if the wind did get up, it won't be, it won't be really safe to stop in here. Uh, there's a lot of trees that's ready for falling as well. It's been devastated. Anyway, I'm out with, I'm out with crazy horses that in wood somewhere. So, uh, I'll have a walk around here. Get on with things. And Angus has flushed a great road here, out there, look. Angus, come here, hey! Come here, and there's a bloody road up there, look at that. Angus, come on. Well, it's a good job, Angus is a bit of an obedient dog. Because believe me, I have owned dogs that wouldn't let that get away. Uh, it, we didn't know what to do when it got to that edge row. It was panicking in there. Uh, I've had dogs that would have took advantage of that. Anyway, I'm on road swing. It's a beautiful day. And this is what I mean, look. It's a good branch that's come down. I built my little half shelter here in autumn. And there's a piece that's come crashing down there onto it. Idiot. He's now chasing squirrels. Well, I have bought catapult out with me. And I have got a few ledge there. I'll see what happens when this eats next then. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a lovely day, plenty of wood to burn, but you won't want them crashing down on you. And the only other thing about this place is that I do have to park my car about uh, about a mile away now, the other one got burnt out. <laughs> so, uh, and to bring a four wing to pack down, you can go quite early because it does get cold at night. Anyway. Plenty of wood to burn down here. I might have a few camps down here in the summer. Well, there's another one of my little camping spots here. A uh, cross beam over there, and again, a lot of dead form. Well, I've had a few failed camps when I was younger in, uh, in this little cave here. I mean, the noises that you get because all these crevices interconnect, you have scurrying, you hear noises, uh, shuffling about, and I've always bottled it and uh, camped down on train line. But there's no train lines here now. It's a very popular place. It's all access free and uh, a lot of mountain bikers get here. But anyway, it's, uh, it's a good little place to camp, but I might get a late night in the early morning. Uh, without the dogs one weekend anyway I'll show you now well this is where you'd get sent down on this little ledge here and you can get further down there which I'm going to try and uh, try and do let me turn this off a bit well I'm not going to crawl through there today but, uh, you can get in there rearrange them stones it's a bit damp on that back wall and there's a little little passageway down there that uh, you can't you can't get down any further than what we are now. But anyway, there's been a great stone took out where I'm uh, kneeling down here. Uh, there's entrance. And dog's down already. Well, if you put that stone here, you'd get it more flattened out. And I can honestly say, 
I think I'll have a successful night in it pretty soon. Well, I am very tempted to take Angus home and uh, do a camp in there, but I've got all spring, all summer. I'm out with, I'm out with Crazy Horse and uh, I've got things to do. So, let's so move on. Well, I'm going to have a night at Stupid. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take that one down. Uh, feet bods. Let's tell you the truth. Just chill out. Just chill out for a, for a day or two. Uh, I've got everything I want down here. Still getting cold in the morning. I'm not getting no younger. So, night at the old winter camp with Crazy Horse. Well, I don't watch any of them reviews on YouTube or out like that. I like my own stuff. But anyway, I needed a new tarp. So I went on that uh, on that eBay and I've got sent off for it. It's, it's nearly 3x3. Three three. It's a red camp. I don't know, no to Bartum. Cost 17 quid. Uh, so I'm going to put that up and uh, stop in the hammock set up tonight. And it's same as here. Uh, I was down up on coast and you get them knife shops. Now I can't resist them. Uh, I'll. Uh, I'll show you them. Now I had to buy these for price. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think the metal is absolutely crap quality. Uh, the sheaves are, be are not a lot better than a lot of them uh, Anglo arm things. I mean, this honestly looks like uh, pirates' cutlass. <laughs> I mean, but but uh, I just couldn't. I just couldn't resist buying them. I mean, this is like a quite a, a nasty looking thing. But uh, I'm going to give him a go down here. Let's see how I go on with him. I'm going to get my hammock up first. Well, here's new top. He's got six eyelets, one either end and one in the middle. It don't seem to be very badly stitched. And it's very, very thin material. But uh, I don't know if they've expected any rain. But he it does reach between these trees pretty well. I'm only out in one of them cheap hammocks. Uh, <coughs> I'm not really one for having big for big rope on. And I do have a bit of a, <coughs> a drip line here. Uh, I don't know whether it's expected rain, I've no idea. Anyway, I'll start getting on with things. Angus is very, very <coughs> worried what's in this what's in this build. Anyway, there it is. Not bad. Well, I've been putting together these little fat wood fire starting kits. Yeah, you've got a bit of a fur rod there, little knife striker, some fat wood. In here, you've got a little striker made out of a Stanley blade and uh, some fat wood. You know, that all fits in there quite nice. Yeah, I mean, you, you've got a, a few little bits of fat wood there to make a few fires. You've got a a little bullet striker, a fire rod, sorry, and a little striker. So I'll get fire on.
I've got my antibacterial wipes and I've also got a trout for supper. Uh, nice looking rainbow that. Anyway, I'll prepare that. My dog is being lazy, he's down. And I'll wait for that to slow and get a fish on. Well, I've left bones sticking out. It's easier just to pull out when it's cooked here. Uh, I've added a few young hawthorn leaves to it. Uh, it does make it a bit more earthy, but I've got lurk pack. And uh, it's that time of year. I'm going to get on that fire, see how it turns out. And look at that, that backbone will just come out. You're going to get that with tates, sit around that fire. And look at that for a dinner, trout and tates. Oh yes. He wouldn't dump them out of riding. Well, the last time Angus chased a deer, he ended up with 40 clips in his chest. And uh, when he flushed that one out at wood and running upfield, I could feel my heart pounding. I just thought, oh no. Anyway, uh, I don't know what would have happened if that deer would have jumped that fence and uh, whether Angus would have followed. I think, I mean, fair enough, he did come back and that, that's, you know, a good dog. Uh, I don't, I don't want my dogs. But uh, I will not take that hunting instinct away from them. Uh, you know, I mean, you do get a, a bond with them. And, uh, you know, it makes every walk different as well, and every camp. Anyway, I'm going on. So, uh, just going to sit by that fire, get a not drink. I brought blanket of a fit dog, and here I'm just in that Cozy Tech uh, 500, and I've got a quilt under under it as well. I get that there. Uh, so all, all bugs, all bugs don't uh, stop in here if you've got a bit of a fire on there. So I'm going to get Angus. I might get Ed down.
Well, dog, I'll get down on my coat, and uh, until I until I get settled in there, then I'll probably uh, end up joining me in there. morning. Uh, well he, he got in, in bed with about 12 o'clock and been there ever since. Uh, there should be a sunrise coming up behind the boy down because they were getting one this morning. And there were no real weather to uh, test this new tarp. Uh, I'm very warm in this sleeping bag last night and uh, in this quilt. I've wrapped it over, wrapped it over. But anyway I'll uh, take a look at you get 10 minutes. Go up and get some breakfast. Well, it's coffee and porridge for breakfast before I start taking all that down. Well, that's the last one. It has freed up some space. Uh, there's a few cones there. I'll take them blue tops to tip here. Uh, they know they know good now. Completely different. Well, this weekend's weather ain't testing that tarp at all. Uh, so I'm going to have a eat what's down here dinner which is some blue noodles, which I quite like, some chicken curry, which I've never tried that. Well, there's dinner. Blue noodles, tin of stock walls, curry, and I'll tell you something now, that's not too bad. Let me love. Well, I'm gonna let that fire go out. I'm gonna have a slow pack up. Uh, Angus has just uh, finished off that curry. Pack all that away. And shoot off home. Well, it's about half past three Saturday, so I'm going to get off for football results. Uh, I have got a couple of lads coming down soon to see if they want one of these builds on the on the permission. So uh, this is going to stop up till then. I think they're coming down in the next couple of weeks. So anyway, got no rubbish. Everything's looking tidy. So until next time. Bye.